I need to go back to a lot of the other uh, pod locations because apparently there's a lot of scattered technology that I missed. And I did actually go back to a few of those places and found some things, but not everything. So we got a lot of- we got a lot of scavenging to do. Also, let me turn the volume down because once again it reset, and I don't know why it keeps doing this every time I boot the game up. But yes, also, we expanded the house. Uh, I was playing for a bit, uh, I was really eager to play this game more throughout the week, so, uh, I just expanded a little bit. Um, you know, not- not much. I just, uh, well, first thing I did was, uh, I added a bit more storage, and, uh, we also have a bioreactor. We also have an aquarium, which has a peeper and Gary in it. Gary now has a safe home with us. We also have an observatory, which comes with a special perk of every time we walk into it, music plays. That's literally the only thing the observatory does, apart from being just cool to look at. From what I can tell, the only thing unique about the observatory is every time you step into it, music plays. That's it. <laughs> it just cues one of the game's uh, atmospheric tracks. We also have, beyond this wonderful bulkhead door that I put in here for reasons, we have a scanner room. At long last. And I, my nose, oh god, hold up. I gotta, I don't. Do I need to sneeze or not? Make up my mind. Cause apparently in that first time capsule I found, I didn't even notice this, but in that very first time capsule we found, someone left me a scanner room HUD, a scanner room HUD chip, which means that every time I, let's, let's go ahead and demo this. Every time I uh, click something to scan uh, in the scanner room, give it a second, it'll pop up here in a moment. It pops up on my HUD. Normally, it doesn't do that. That's normally a, a mod you can only get with Magnetite, which I can only guess is in the area with the big scary Rory thing that we only saw in the distance, which I have now been made aware is called a Reaper. I set up a scanning room on the uh, island that we can't- on the island we got- What the fuck is that noise? It's, uh, anyway, I set up a scanning room on the island that we got warped to just to see if there was anything around it. I'll go back to the island and show you what I mean, but yeah, that island is basically barren. Um, but with the little cameras here, since we can just make more of them, what we can also do is bring these out into that area. I'm... I'm so... I'm concerned about what that noise is. Because it doesn't look like there's anything around my base that's making that noise. It's just making that noise for some reason. Anyway, uh, yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take control of... Okay, if my base is gonna fall apart, can it just fucking do it already? So I could go ahead and get the heartbreak over with? I'm gonna take the other camera out, if I can, uh... If I'm gonna go ahead- yeah, the interesting thing is that all the scanner rooms are connected, so you can take control of different cameras from different scanner rooms. The problem is, if you're trying to take control of one that's beyond 500 meters, you can't see shit, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, that's back on the island. But the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this out and we're gonna go get a look at the thing that spooked us. And just make sure I'm going the right way. I am. We're gonna go take a look at that thing and get a- get a nice up close and personal view of it. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to get that far because the- you only get a crystal clear picture up to 500 meters? But we'll see. Yep, it's starting to get, uh, staticky. Maybe- we may be getting too far away. Yeah, it's getting staticky. Yeah, I don't think we can get that far. We're gonna- we might have to move the scanner room a bit further out. Okay, so yeah, we- we won't be able to, uh, see the thing. It's getting a bit too blurry for us to get a clear picture. We're gonna have to eventually start move- start moving our base elsewhere because, uh, I've kind of stri- I've kind of stripped the whole beginner area bare. Also, stalkers love to pick up the cameras for some reason. They- they just love them. They're like- it's like they're playing with a rubber ball. Uh, 17 and 13 are the ones we need to go back to. 17 and 13. So, I'll mark those. We'll take, uh, and pod 19 off of there for now. Let's go visit pod 17. There's a bunch of tech- There should be a bunch of technology in here that I missed. So, we're gonna be going back through several areas that we've already been to. I was here a little while ago, uh, a couple of days ago, actually, just kind of clearing things out, looking for stuff that I might have missed. 
I didn't look through everything, so there's fragments of uh, different pieces of technology that are still just lying around. Stuff that's, you know, stuff that we already have by this point, and stuff that we should have found a lot earlier, but I was stupid and didn't. Oh, modification station fragment. Nice, we just need one more of those. If I remember correctly, I believe there is actually a broken part of the ship that we can just swim inside. It's not here. Maybe this was it, actually? Uh, nope, that's not it. It was around... somewhere around here. There's a broken bit- there's another broken bit of the ship that you can just swim into. Here it is. Right here. It has a lot of useful things in it for earlier on that I would have liked to find earlier, but, you know. Let's just swim our way ever so gracefully through here, hitting our head on absolutely everything. Don't worry about that. Okay, can't go that way. We'll go this way again. There's some data here that is mega corrupted. <laughs> or maybe somebody's cat just walked across the keyboard. I uh, think this is something. Yep, modification station fragment. I think it's the only thing we need in here. Yep, nice. Quick one through. We're gonna run out of oxygen here in a minute. Yep, okay, that's everything. Let's get out before we drown. Okay. Alrighty, well, that's everything we needed from there. We just had to get the modification station. Whew. Let's head back to the base real quick. Uh, because we do need to find the moon pool, which if I did, uh, I did do a bit of searching around and I, uh, I, I played another file for a little while just to see how far, how long it would take me to get back to relatively where we were. And, uh, then took me a lot less time now that I knew what I was doing. But yeah, I believe anyway. A lot of the stuff to make the moon pool is around pod number 13. Welcome aboard, Captain. So we're gonna head back there just as soon as we're done checking out this here modification station, which we're gonna need a computer chip, titanium, diamond, and lead for. The computer chip is gonna be the big one. Let's just go ahead and slap this bad boy down right here. Excellent. Now this should be able to make us... Yep. We can make the ultra high capacity tank and the lightweight high capacity tank. So we just need four lithium. We have got plenty of that. Give me a moment here. Ultra high capacity tank. Give it to me. And how much is that? Oh, it's going. 225. Nice. There we are. Brand new Ultra Glide Fins. Peepa. 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 You must be stabbed. Be stabbed. Be stabbed. Be stabbed. Where did you go? There. Nope. <laughs> Peeper fucking ninja vanished on me. Clever little bitch. So. Now we need to go back to pod. 13, which was uh, this way. So yeah, back to the Mushroom Kingdom, as I'm going to call it from now on. I was, <laughs> didn't even realize I hit something. And I know this area is for the most part safe, but it still kind of creeps me out. Just because it's so far away from the safe shallows. So, uh, if you are ready for the stream to have high octane, uh, fragment searching action, then boy, do I have a treat for you. Of course, what I could also do if I was smarter is just, uh, oh, here we go. As I say that, hey, nice, just need to find one more. What I could also do is just build a mini base here with a scanner room, but where's the fun in that? everywhere because it would make this they would make this whole ordeal a whole lot more expedient but you know what i in fact why am i not doing that L literally why am i not doing that if you were hoping to see sathorvan lose his mind while trying to find things and build mini uh build miniature bases well 
Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you've come to the right stream. Power restored. All primary systems online. There we go. I'm gonna head back to uh, the base, grab a couple more of those lantern fruit. Cause I didn't have enough space on me, but I got enough now. Wow, we that was okay. Giving myself some credit here. That was almost perfect. The amount of resources I brought with me. Ow! Ow! What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> I think I got hit by my own sea moth. <laughs> Only here on the Seth stream, ladies and gentlemen, does a man get hit by his own vehicle. Stand for them fragments. Are you for fucking real? Are you for fucking real? Are you actually serious right now? Fucking, of course, one of the goddamn fragments is literally outside my goddamn door. Because, of course, it would be high. Hi, Bone, sh hi, hi bone Shark. Hi. Yeah, you look pretty fucking scary with that infection light coming off of you. Hey, look. Could I maybe perhaps just go for the fragment and you leave me alone? Or am I going to have to stab you with a knife? Am I going to have to shank you? Look. Look, I just- I just want the fragment. Can I- can I- can I have the fragment? Can I have the fragment, maybe? Oh boy, another Cyclops part. We're finding a lot of these. If by some miracle we end up finding all of them. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. We are getting there. Cyclops bridge is completed. Cyclops- <gasps> Yes! That's the- what? What did I just hit? I think I just accidentally hit F1. I did. Okay. Yes! Fucking Cyclops, we got it. We can make that now. Hang on, this calls for victory theme. Cyclops is now ready to be constructed. But let's look around for that moon pool first. Okay, enough. Yeah, let's look around for that moon pool first. Ew, shark boy. Shark, please don't. Hey! Yeah, da, 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 da. Don't worry, don't you worry. Oh, you're you're fast. You are fast and you are persistent. You're also big. And moon pool is done. Nice, we're good. There's more fragments around here. I want them. What do we need to make the moon pool? Uh, two titanium ingots, so 20 titanium, one lubricant and two lead. Uh, we can get all that. We don't have all that with, we don't have all that with us. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the regular base. Uh, we'll leave the scanner room and shit active here. We'll be back. We'll definitely be back. But, uh, this episode is going to be devoted to making the Cyclops! A glorious advancement, I know. I wonder what you can find in your island scanner room. Yeah, we need to do that as well. I- I just want to see what's below that island. Cause I guarantee there's something big and scary down there, and I don't want to go down there myself. Three plasteel ingots, three enameled glass, one lubricant, one advanced wiring kit, and three lead. Oh boy! So if I remember correctly, that's gonna be like three, uh, 30 titanium. We're also gonna need a bunch of that enameled glass and oof, oof. I'm pretty sure we got enough titanium. Uh, just in case, let's devote all of our inventory space just to carrying titanium for the moment. Except for the knife, cause I need to cut off some food here real quick. Delicious. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna need 30 titanium. Let's go ahead and make those ingots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, that should be enough. Right, we need to build the moon pool first. That would be the smarter idea, to make that so we can recharge our seam off. Uh, so what do we need to make that again? Uh, oh, okay, so we're gonna need 50 titanium to make all this. We're also gonna need the, uh, lubricant. We're gonna need a lot of titanium, thank, well, thank, thank God we got plenty. Thank God we got plenty. Do we have enough lead though? Shit. No, we don't. We don't have enough, we don't have any more lead. Well, fuck me then. Let's get all these titanium ingots made. Let's just go ahead and get five of them made right now, cause I know we got the titanium for it, but God, that's a lot of titanium. 
That is a lot of titanium. We're gonna need... Okay. Now we need to go get lead. That... That has not... That has not been a thing we've needed in a long time. But alright. Time to go out and get some sandstone chunks. Which, thankfully... Actually... Actually... This here... Scanning room... Can find some of those for us. All right, we should uh, probably just clean out this area of all the lead and silver that we could possibly get because we're going to need a lot. Harbo, thank you for the wonder bits. Seth, a few weeks ago. Oh, God, exploding pufferfish of doom. <laughs> yeah, now they don't now they barely now they're more of an annoyance, really. Ah, speaking of annoyance, I remember when the stalkers freaked me out as well until I figured out that that stalker plus knife equals stalker not bothering you anymore. Okay, I guess we need the propulsion cannon to get in there. Oh well. Uh-oh. Uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> we might be in trouble here. We might be in trouble. No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're fine. <laughs> So it's okay, I didn't just drown- I didn't just nearly drown twice in the same episode. It's fine! Don't worry! Nothing to- th like, there's no issue here, guys. You're being- you're just being- You're being like negative Nancy's over here. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I swear. Kind of. Some of the time. After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Thank you. Good to know. Uh, this should maybe work? Yeah, that's- that's- that'll work. That'll work. Hey, Nice. Let's get our Seamoth charged up, why don't we? Just go slide in here. Hey, Perfect. It fits like a glove. Yes, hello, goodbye. I'm just picking up teeth, don't worry. That I, I'm not weird, you're weird, shut up. Uh, Plasteel, we just need lithium. We got enough of that. Do we have enough titanium ingots, though? I think so. Yep, we do. All right, now we need uh, one more thing of glass, and then we need the advanced wiring kit. And now we make our Plasteel ingots. Okay, let's just shove all the teeth in there. Uh, we need one advanced wiring kit. We're almost there. We've almost got our Cyclops, and I'm gonna move that, uh, modular bay into a deeper area before I make that, because I'm pretty sure that Cyclops is gonna be fucking huge. Okay, we need a, a we need a computer chip. We need two coral samples, one gold, and one copper, and I think we needed an extra- we need three gold, and two copper, and one of the wiring kits. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay, let's pick a nice, big, open, deep area. All right. Here we go. Prepare yourselves, folks. Holy shit. Holy fuck! Holy shit, this thing is huge! Good. Our problems are fucking solved! Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I love the voice, too. Let's go on a personal tour of our new mobile home. So we got the launch bay here. Uh, I think this is just a back door that we can leave. Nope, nope, this is in fact a separate level. Oh, wait, I have an upgrade for this thing. I have an upgrade for this thing. This is the power source, fire extinguisher, and uh, holy shit, no vehicle. Oh, okay, so we can actually dock our Seamoth and our prawn suits here. Yeah, here's the cockpit. Turn on a floodlight. Jesus fucking Christ, there's so much shit in here. We're gonna test this bad boy out. Hi, yeah, speaking of bad boys. Hi, okay, you look, you wanna, yeah. 
That should that 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 should let you know who owns this neck of the woods, buddy. Piss off. Good Christ, that thing is gigantic. Yeah, people were talking about getting a mobile base. There it is, right there. How do you? How do you? Uh, oh. Oh, <laughs> that is so fucking cool. That is so fucking cool. That is amazing. <laughs> Boop. Engine efficiency now 300%. Fucking sweet. Fucking sweet. I see we're going to have to keep a steady supply of power cells to keep this thing running. Yes, yeah, six in total. Oh. What the fuck is benzene? Yeah, I think we're gonna take our big punchy boy here for the moment. Am I, am I gonna get the chance to test it out? Am I going to? Yes, I am. Eat my fists, you bitch! Yeah, yeah, you didn't like how they taste, did you? You hated them so much, you embedded yourself in the wall. <laughs> Have fun with that. Ah, beautiful. All right, so how do we name- how do we name this thing? Do we have to, uh... How do we name this thing? Ah, lovely. Looks crisp and pristine. And where's the name? Where's the name? It's around here somewhere. Where's the name? We gotta see it. <laughs> I love that it is in bold black text. That is fucking perfect. <laughs> now, let's see how this bad boy pilots. Engine offline. Oh my god, you have to- Powering. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I hit something. <laughs> it's also kind of unnerving to pilot this thing because it's so fucking big I feel like I'm gonna hit absolutely everything <laughs> oh god but this is so cool this is so neat what the fuck oh my, can am I hitting something or is something just hitting me I think something might just be hitting okay so you can actually take control of a Okay, let's back up, I guess. What the fuck is... Oh, it's the bubbles? Oh! Are you for real? Those were That was making that noise? <laughs> oh no! Captain! The submarine's hull can't take it! Bubbles! Dear God, we're all gonna die! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's what was making that noise. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I gotta be honest, guys. This this ship is really fucking cool, but piloting it just feels so unnerving at the same time for the first time because it's just like, oh god, it's so big. I don't want to fuck this up. I don't want to crash into anything. Also, ignore that. That's fine. <laughs> That's supposed to happen. Uh, Captain, I think we have a problem in the engine bay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Physics is not working at all. This, uh, this might be a problem. For the moment, though, for the moment, I'm gonna turn this bad boy off. Engine powering down. To save on power. And, uh, we're gonna go... We're gonna go to that other island. Stalker, look. Look, buddy, I know you like chewing on metal, but can you not, please? Can you please, maybe? Just don't. Thank you. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I got this gigantic submarine, right? I've got a giant submarine. What good is having a giant submarine if I don't use it? So let's go ahead and park the Seamoth here. You are the 
Skeleton Captain on the planet. I'm not even squidding. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it said if for people who weren't aware for what it said, it said you are the best pilot on the planet. I'm not even squidding. Let's go hunting. Gather all the tiny fish and cook them for their delicious hides. Such as you and you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and not you, Gary. You get to live. Uh, you, and that should be every, that should be all I can make. Oh, uh, four, eight. I think we can make. I think we can give one more. There we go. We're having fish tonight, and tomorrow night, and the night after that. It, we're pretty much just eating nothing but fish. I hope you guys like fish. Let me just, uh, let's just store some of this shit. And did it. Okay. Fabricator. Let's put you here. Radio. We shall put you here. And we're gonna put this thing... Right here. Slowly turning this massive behemoth around. Much obliged, partner. Away we go! Now, I have no idea what the fuck is... I'm sure that's no problem. I have no idea what the fuck's gonna be out there, but I guarantee we're gonna see it. Okay, I'm sure that's not an issue. This is really freaking cool. But it's also kind of unsettling. I don't know what's out there. But we're gonna see. God. This is freaky. This is freaky. Just being this far out is freaky. But we're almost there. Whew. Let's go to the surface. Let's go to the surface. Just so we're less freaked out. Whew. Okay. It's way less freaky if you could see the seabed. It is. When you're just surrounded by open water, it's... <laughs> no. I don't like it. Okay. Engine powering down. Okay. We're all right, though. I'll keep the uh, interior lights on. Okay. So really the only reason I was here was because I wanted to see just if we could actually see below the island. Because if you can see, actually, before we do that, yeah, the reason why I was curious is because look at this. Like, like look at this. This island is not connected to anything. So we're gonna see what's below it. Away! Okay, so only about a couple of hundred meters down, there's some ridges. I don't see anything else. Oh, hang on. There's stuff down here. Okay, this is new. This goes down a ways. Does anything aside from like small fish and the jelly rays live out here? We can't take the camera much farther, but let's see what we can see. Well, the answer to that is barely anything at the moment. So not a whole lot down here, except for these weird globe things. Like seriously, what are they? They're everywhere down here. Hang on, I, I gotta see, I gotta check out, I gotta see more of this. Hang on, there's something over there, I think. <laughs> uh... It's moving. What is that? Oh, whoa! That was a wall! What is that thing? Looks like something you'd see at a ha- It's look that- that- You know what that is? What that look- reminds me of anyway. It reminds me of those fucking... Walker things from Half-Life 2. Whatever they were called. Striders, that's what they were called. Yeah, the str- It reminds me of the Striders. 
The wonderful thing about this camera is, uh, I'm not in any enemy- I am not in any immediate danger. So that's how the island is floating. Giant floaters. Like, those are actual, like, you know those little pink things that we- that, like, the ones that we <laughs> accidentally attached to a, a boomerang? That's them. That's how the island's staying afloat. You mean they can turn islands into ships if they get big enough? Oh yeah, if you read up on the, uh, the floaters, they can actually attach to bigger leviathans in, like, groups. And the way they feed, it's kind of fucked up, it's kind of fucked up, actually. The way the floaters, like, reproduce and feed is they attach themselves to bigger leviathans in such a group that they drag it to the surface, basically asphyxiate it on the surface, and then over the course of several years, eat it. And then they do the whole thing all over again. It's kind of fucked up, really. Now it is time to turn the lights on so I can see where I'm going. It is time to descend! While controlling a camera so I can more accurately see where I'm going. Freaky! Freaky business is what this is. Oh, it's actually not that- not that dark down here. What the fuck are these things? This entity defies, uh, neat categorization. It consists of more than one coral species working in tandem to create an insulated microcosm enclosed within a translucent membrane. Found exclusively growing on basalt rock in the ground- in the Grand Reefs, the, homeosta the homeostatic conditions within are considerably warmer and more dense with microbial life than the outside environment, and the bright purple fauna inside will likely die off quickly if exposed. Freaky. Okay, let's see what these things are. Alright, let's get back on our sub, because I, I don't feel comfortable being out here. These unusual flora specimens have been encountered exclusively on the deep reefs. They consist of a large, spherical, gas-filled membrane anchored to the seafloor by its root system. At these depths, it is unlikely the structure is designed to enhance uh, access to sunlight, but rather the pod's ability to, pro uh, to propagate. Once the pods attain sufficient uh, height, they burst, releasing spores which catch the currents and disperse around the local seas. You know what? Uh... I... I'm gonna go see what that thing is. Because apparently, like, Again, the only reason, the only reason, is because it seems like there's- where am I- where, which direction are we going? Oh, okay. It seems like... They are- there isn't anything particularly spooky down here. Oh, wait, there it is. I see it. I think. Yeah, I see it. And I don't like that noise. Okay. Uh, let's exit. I'm gonna save, just in case these things decide to kill me. A warper! What the fuck? Okay. Sea Treader. Let's not stay here too long. Let's not stay here too long. Come on, come on, come on, damn it, come on. Alright, let's leave. Let's leave. There's warpers down here. I don't want to stay here. Let's get the fuck out. Oh, boy. <sighs> Seeing those warpers that close is also unnerving, because, I mean, I don't know what they do, but just the fact that they're hunting for me, apparently. Mm-mm. No thank you. I don't want to take any chances. Once we uh, read up on uh, what those sea treaders are, because I am curious about them, we'll be done for the day. Again, kind of an anticlimactic note to leave it on, but, uh... Uh, I really don't want to go see those reapers. Like, I'm going to be honest, I don't. Okay. And... We are home. Welcome home, everybody. Did we have a nice trip? Did we learn anything today? That the ocean fucking sucks? Because it does. Alright, let's see what this thing is. A sea treader leviathan. A vast bipedal leviathan which roams the reef in herds, grazing the seafloor. Uh, carapa, antenna, carapace, along in its now, uh, behavior. <clears throat> uh, large herds, uh, would decimate the flora of a single area, thus encouraging the sea treaders migrate, uh, migratory behavior. 
Families keep their young toward the center of the herd, and parents will lash out at uh, over-curious interlopers in search of an easy meal. Sea treaders' herds may unearth mineral deposits as they churn up the sand. Hmm. Neat. Okay. <sighs> Despite how much I really don't want to, let's make sure I'm heading in the right direction. Yep, I am. This is where we saw it the first time. And I think I kind of know what noise they make now, so I, I know what to keep an eye out for. Or an ear out for. An eye and an ear. Because I can see them, and I can most certainly hear them when they're close. Thanks, pal. Yeah, that's the noise. You don't have to go to it. Just go nearby and it will come to you. Don't say that. That's the noise they make. I, I recently I recently realized that after kind of like exploring a little bit, catching another glimpse of one off camera. <sighs> Falcon, thank you for the three month resub. Sammy the Safety Reaper is happy to meet you. I'm not. I don't see it. I can certainly hear it, but I don't see it. All right, fuck it, I saved. Come here, you scaly piece of crap, let's dance! There it is, there it is. Why is it moving away? Ah, uh, there's the big boy himself. Come here, buddy, give me a hug. Oh God, it's huge. Oh God, hi, how are you doing? Oh god, um, my sea moth is gonna die. I'm leaving. Uh, you can have it. You can have it. You know what? You know what? Hold. Hold. Yeah, you can have that. You can have that. It's on the house. Goodbye. <laughs> well, I'm down a sea moth. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'm out of battery in this thing. Okay, well. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. You got your fucking reaper. Y'all happy? <laughs> let's, uh, let's reload. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. I don't know why it does that every time you reload. Anything with power just starts out with no power for some reason when you load up a file. Alright, away we go. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm not going to go inspect your dentistry again. You got lovely teeth, you're perfectly healthy, you're good. Don't worry, I'll see you again next week. Whoops. <laughs> hey, hey, give me that back. Give me that back. That's mine. That isn't yours. Fuck off. <laughs> I didn't even know I could do that, by the way. Oh, you can- Salty Storyteller, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, see now, Seth, aren't they uh, a lot less scary now? There's nothing in the ocean that you can't come back from just fine. Now, if only I could tell myself that. Oh no, they're still scary. They're still scary, but at least now I know that I can avoid them and outrun them, kind of. Uh, and if nothing else, I can make a second sea moth to bait them, and then I can scan them while they're eating it. <laughs> uh, anyway. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for joining me. This was a lot of fun as usual. And I will see you next time. Good night. If you want to catch these streams way before they appear on YouTube, then be sure to go follow me at twitch.tv slash Sathorvan. I stream every weekend, and I would love to see you there. If you want to keep up to date with this channel, then be sure to like this video, hit subscribe, and click that bell icon so you don't miss a single upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.